day two equals no donut for Braden. 2023 Bass Pro Grand Final on Lake Boonduma and Braden Shoe made it back to back wins. Last time he won was on the Clarence on a rain shortened one day event, but this year it was two days on Lake Boonduma and he ended up 70 grams clear of second place Matt Johnson. And here is how the top half of the field plus some others did it. You can hear the full details of Braden's tackle and bait choice on the full interview on the ABT YouTube channel, but it was a mix of crankbaits and chatterbaits with small stinger hooks attached. Get the net out for him, put it that way. Get the net out for him. Get in your Get in your mongrel. Come on. Oh, what was There he is. Number two. In his interview, Braden said that one of the keys to his success on day two was to move slightly away from the main patch of fish and that maybe the bigger fish had been pushed away from the main group of anglers. And nobody can argue with the results. And check out how the chatterbait retrieve varies from the deep crankbait. It's all about keeping that lure close to the bottom and varying up the speeds. They're the ones that we want. Somewhat anyways, yes. There it is. 
bit small, but upgrade number one. Upgrade, but an upgrade nonetheless. Baby, stay on. Summon my inner Carl Johnson. Stay on, baby. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yes! Yes! Woohoo! Woohoo, great work. That's a ripper. That's a beautiful fish. That's what we need. upgrade that we needed Woo! and we're pretty sure that this was the upgrade that won Braden the grand final remember the final margin over 70 grams so an upgrade like this really makes a difference A good one. That is a beautiful bass. Oh, he was playing around at the start, but woo! That is. They're the ones that we want. That's what we need. Queensland's Matt Johnson was always going to be an angler to watch after winning the qualifier only a few months earlier. And well, he nearly got it done, fell just short at the end, but that used the same. Chatterbait, crankbait approach to catch his fish in very similar areas.
Give you this rod as well, or no? you want me to give you this rod as well, or yeah, She's right. The 23 Bass Pro Angler of the Year Maddie Langford won three events this season but a grand final title still eludes him. It's his home lake, he knew how to fish it, but he still ended up in fourth.
This is what happens when you catch a fish very early in the retrieve when you're long lining a crankbait. And the way you get around that problem is to cast your extra deep diving crankbaits. There you go, that's day one, Boondooma, all over. <laughs> ben Hay populated fifth place and he wasn't afraid to travel up from his home down in New South Wales, doing most of his damage on Get lipless crankbaits. He just creamed it and he had that, he was a good fish. Yep. Oh, yeah, he had a good, I think he's one of the better ones that I've freaking hooked. Oh, 
And after that first fish, it didn't take Ben long to get his second. You'll notice that the boaters sometimes net their own fish and sometimes the non-boaters net them for them. This is personal preference. There's no hard and fast rules. It's just whatever you're comfortable with. time here like a couple hours to go yesterday and he only caught one on a blade that wasn't real great and one of them things you really gotta have a lot of patience yeah and just kind of just sit there and grind it out yeah kind of balls it also been hammered the last two days yeah i know it's so got hammered on prefish oh it doesn't feel real big but Small. Should keep. One that's slow, hey, this one will help. Just put that net up here for me, please. Okay. Help a tiny bit. It's gonna win me a boat. Oh, that's a fair upgrade from that little one you got. Yeah. That's a substantial increase. Yeah, they want it, yeah. Queenslander and perennial contender Mick Johnson was on plenty of fish for the weekend with some of these and some double hookups coming into play.
solid one. And while Phil Nix is hooked up in the back of the boat, Mick Johnson's getting it done up the front. Oh. First ones were Spanglies, I think. Hi. First ones were Spanglies, I think. It was to get 10 out of 10 for the grand final, a place where I double donated in the qualifier and job done. Fish. Number one, it's quicker than yesterday. If you're asking about those white 13 fishing rods, they're a prototype. I don't think they're gonna put them into production because they don't um, keep their color. They stain up a little bit, but a great action rod. And I'm sure they'll have them available in a different color in 2024. Fish on, this is number three. Pretty solid pattern this morning, running that uh, lipless crankbait. 10 foot of water up along the bank. They're smashing it. That's a better one. Around the bottom of that tree. At least it hit it harder anyway. And if you want to see the full highlights for all my tournament fishing days, Steve Morgan on YouTube. Another upgrade, getting bigger. That one's a fat one too. It's number seven for the day, that. Seventh legal anyway. 
New South Wales' John Noble was a real contender in the qualifier on Lake Boondooba. He got his 10 out of 10 but lacked the size to match that earlier result. An ABT sure does appreciate Corey Goldie's big efforts this year, travelling all the way from Victoria to fish all six of the qualifiers and the grand final. We're sorry that the result was not exactly what you expected. Corey's full highlights and story on his Balls and All series on Corey's Dam Fishing Channel. And remember, if you want to get involved in ABT events or check out the full results and stories from each of the events, you can visit us on our website www.abt.org.au.